Well, you caught me out here finishing up another rocking chair. And if you've been around and watched any of my videos lately, you know I've been focused on showing you how we make these armrests. Today I thought we'd jump ahead a little bit, and I want to show you just how easy it is to complete the final assembly of one of these rocking chairs. Now before we get started, one thing I want you to keep in mind as you watch this video, doesn't matter if you're making a chair, one of these love seats, or a full-size bench. These all bolt together the same way. So sit back and pay close attention, and I'll show you just how easy this is. Okay, we're gonna start by finding our center point. We're just a little shy at 24 inches. There's our mark. There's our mark over here. And then we just follow one edge. So we'll get this where we want it. I want to leave about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters here from the back of the log to where the back starts. And then we'll just pre-drill it. And we've got some three inch, some four inch lags. Gonna get them started for now. Okay, and we'll just do the same thing we just did over there. We'll pre drill it. You're going to want to remember to leave these a little loose for final adjustments. Got a couple spacers here, about an inch worth. We'll put them right there on the armrests. It'd like to be about 30 inches up off the ground for the top of the back. A couple more spacers. About 30 inches, real close. All right, so we got the back lined up where we want it, and we'll pre drill. We're on the final stretch here. Let's go ahead and put these arms on. And we've got our uh, caps, which we'll just screw into place. Put a little electrical tape on my wrench so I don't scratch the paint. Just a matter of uh, cinching these down. And we want to be square with the back. Looks like all that's left to do now is see how it rocks. Hey now, thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to click subscribe right here, and come on back next week. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.